What is up, my good friends? It is your old pal, Closet Gamer, back again for some more Age of Engineering. Uh, we are in our factory at the moment. Um, I've just been... Well, actually, I realised uh, last episode that I didn't actually cover any of the stuff that I've been doing. Um, so, for those that have been following uh, my channel, um, you will have noticed that I put a tutorial up um, that is covering... Uh, how I automate uh, my arc furnace and distribute it using um, RF tools control and it works very very well let me just show you something if I want to say make uh, some steel uh, let's go to uh, where's the steel gone steel 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 there you are if I want to make like 30 steel or 20 steel um, then it all does it automatically and it distributes it into the inventory very very nicely yes and it makes full use of its uh, crazy ability to smelt uh, 12 or 12 uh, bars at once. And they've also got these graphite electrodes uh, enchanted up to on breaking three as well, which is great. I mean, they last forever now, which is really good. Um, so that is really good. Um, one of the uh, small problems that I found uh, with this, though, if you were, say, to send a request to craft some steel, it will send um, the coke dust and the steel at the same time. So what I've had to do is put like an interim chest in here. So the steel... And the coal coke go in there and then the coal coke gets separated down there the steel gets past the chest and then distributed into the inventory so that's pretty good um, and it stops it blocking up so that's pretty nifty as well i've automated uh, my crusher as well um, i've got like a little i'll show you in a sec let me uh let me say to this make me some coke dust and you can see it's dropping out it goes in there nice lovely jubbly why is this not getting rf why are you not getting RF? It was doing this the other day, actually. Why? Why would you do this to me? Let me get my um, get my Yetta wrench. Go on here. See that now it work. Now it works. It was actually it was actually processing it. It processed it, but the animation wasn't working and the noise wasn't going on. It's really weird. But anyway, now you've now I've got my um, Yetta wrench in my hand. You can see uh, that I've run my pipes through scaffolding. Um, and it looks looks pretty good. Looks pretty authentic, I think. And uh, Andrew Rubik pointed out as well in uh, last episode, but one that uh, you can get these dropping conveyor belts. So I've got uh, conduits and stuff underneath these uh, crates. And then uh, when the machines fire up, let's have a look. Let's see this all working. Uh, let's make some steel rods, shall we? Because we're going to need some of those in a minute, anyway. Boom! And it goes into there. Yes, and it all flies back underneath, uh, back into the ME interface. So then I've got uh, some more conduits running through there. So I think that looks pretty good. And I've also, um, it's a bit laggy though. I've also uh, built my um, coke ovens into the wall a little bit and built another one. Um, so I was having these running constantly through coal, but they've run out. Um, and I've also moved my smeltery indoors as well. Lovely. What's it got in there at the moment? Is that blood? Blood in there? Blood. I don't know why blood's in there. I think I might have thought that might even be my blood actually. Hmm, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, um I think that's it. Update complete. So last episode uh, we spent some time and we got our solar panel set up in the mining world, didn't we? Uh, our environmental tech solar panel. That is doing a crazy good job of uh, getting us RF. Um one other thing I wanted to show you actually. Um let's quickly go outside. Um, I finished the other building, uh, and that looks pretty good as well. This, um, I've got a, a storage monitor here to show me how much um, quad fuel cells I've got in stock. And then I've got all of this stuff. It's all switched off at the moment. I've got a, uh, got a little switch there. In fact, I can still hear something. Something's still running. None of this stuff's running. But anyway, these are all hooked up to ME interfaces now. Um, so it effectively completely automates the production and the uh, extraction of uh, plutonium from these and it automatically uh, brings the um, uranium into here then washes it and then crushes it and then will centrifuges it and all that sort of good stuff like i say it's all switched on um, i don't really have any of this stuff switched on whilst i'm recording because uh it seems to be the industrial craft 2 machines really lag out uh, my machine anyway i don't know if anyone else has problems with that but I seem to struggle with it quite badly. Um, so I think that's it in terms of updates. I don't think there's anything else that I need to show you. Hmm, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I've got some Imperial Bees. I don't know if I mentioned that last time. I think I did. Uh, upstairs we've got 
uh, the Tech Reborn Blast Furnace. Um, I saw something that concerned me the other day actually, and it was someone putting titanium dust in uh, the immersive engineering um, arc furnace. So it might be that I've made this for nothing. I don't know. Um, I hope not. I hope not. It, it would be re I'll be really disappointed if I went to that effort and made that for nothing. Anyway, um, regardless of that, I'm going to stand on my nice new carpet. Oh yeah, I did this as well. Nice new carpet. And I moved all of my Tinker Construct stuff down here. Um, and I think it looks quite nice. It's not quite a nice little area. Um, we've got some free space over here though. We're going to fill that up today, I think. Um, because today I want to get into... Um, some of the advanced rocketry stuff. Yes, that's right. Advanced rocketry, here we come. So, um, I was looking at what you need to basically make rocket fuel for advanced rocketry. Um, and there's lots and lots of things that we need um, along the way, I think. So if we look at this tank of rocket fuel from advanced rocketry, it's not the rocket fuel from Ender.io, it's, it's this one. We're going to need a chemical reactor um, with oxygen and hydrogen in it to create this rocket fuel. That's done in the chemical reactor, so that's one thing that we need. Um, in order to make the oxygen, we're going to need an electrolyzer with water in there. Um, and you get a tank of hydrogen and tanks of oxygen from that. Um, the chemical reactor itself is made from um, some quite complicated bits and pieces. So these circuit boards, uh, it's crushed, it's copper dust. That's okay. This one, lapis, yeah, that's okay too. And then this one, gold dust, yeah, 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 that's good. Um, user interface, lime dye, yeah, no problem, no problem with that. Um, oh, this one that triggers age 11. What's this? Chrome plates and steel rods. We can make that. We can make that now. And then the other thing we need is these basic circuits. So uh, we're going to need a cutting machine uh, to make those. And we're going to need a precision assembler as well. Um, and we're going to need, what's this? A crystallizer. Crikey. Um, and we're also going to need, what is this stuff? Silicon, 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 silicon. Silicon from sand in an electric arc furnace. So we're going to need an electric arc furnace as well. Holy crap. Right, so the start of the chain looks like it's the electric arc furnace, I think, with this. Um, so we'll aim to get that set up today. Let's have a look at what the electric arc furnace is. Um, so it's just some... Control circuit boards, some nether bricks, uh, user interfaces, that's okay. Um, we'll automate most of this as well, bricks as well, so I'm going to need loads of clay. I think I've got quite a bit of clay. Um, I might have to put a cyan lens on my void miner actually to get a, get a higher chance of getting clay, maybe. Yes, let's see, how are we doing for clay? 103 clay, not very good, turns out. Oh, but we've got some in block form here. Um, so depending on if we uh, if we need to get some more clay, I may have to uh, figure out a way of turning that clay into normal clay. And um, there must be a way to do it. Um, what about enrichment chamber? What's this enrichment chamber? Still casing triggers age twelve. But we can't get that yet, can we? Um, and I figured out actually um, blah, 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 this one. Um, these stainless steel plates um, made from uh, what are they called? made from zirconium that comes from another planet so we definitely can't get that yet um, but we'll get there we'll get there with our rocket anyway um, eventually um, but I think um, there's a mod called libvolps um, that's like a library mod that adds um, some helpful bits and pieces and I think that it's got a projector uh, it's called hollow projector and it will tell us how to make all these multi blocks from what I understand um, so let's see about getting uh, this guy so I'm gonna need all these black things optical sensors um, can I make two of those Yes, nice. And then can we make this? What's that I'm missing? Iron plate. You're telling me I haven't got no iron plates? Ah, oh, hang on a minute. That's because, um, that is because, let me just check something. Uh, iron. Yes, I've used them all. Um, let me make another 200 iron plates uh, because they're going to get used for lots and lots of things. Uh, so we should be good to go with that now. Good. Hollow projector. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Um, because from what I understand, this is pretty nifty. Right. Let's have a look. Right. So in here, we've got a long list of items uh, to choose from. Um, and if you remember, because um, I wrote a list. I don't know if you wrote a list, but I wrote a list. Uh, we were talking about a chemical reactor. We were talking about electrolyzer, cutting machine. Do I see a cutting machine in here? Is a cutting machine a multi-block? Is it? 
Is it? Is it? Wait, oh yeah, it is that's a multi block. So these are all multi blocks. Precision assembler, yeah, crystallizer, yep. Yeah. So let's look uh, first of all at the electric arc furnace, shall we? So that is now set to electric arc furnace, and I think, um, right, maybe down here would be a good place to set some of this stuff up. I don't know if it's the right aesthetic environment for it though. Is it? Do you think? I'll tell you what, we can set it up here um, and then we can figure out whether it looks right um, later on. Um, but it's, let's have a look, see what this is like. Freaking hell, that's huge. Um, what is this, 5x5? Five five? Crikey. Uh, let's try and get this up. Let's try and get it by the wall, actually. Let's get rid of all this. I don't want it there. Let's put it somewhere else. Um, so it's going to be 5x5. Five five, um and it's going to be pretty big, quite sort of in the way. Um, I might set this guy up. No, let's, let's. Oh, look at me. I'm all over the place. He's flounced around like Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Um, right, here? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Um, and then I think if you shift up and down, it will tell you all the different layers to this thing. Wow. That's going to look pretty cool, actually. And it look, it's made out of brick, so it doesn't doesn't really ruin the aesthetics of the uh, of the room because it's made out of bricks um, so it's heat proof bricks lots of those um, and then if I think actually if I mouse over this it will tell me the stuff that I need so we're going to need lots of heat proof bricks so I might as well make a stack of heat proof bricks um, we're going to need uh, input hatches output hatches blocks of gold so there's three blocks of gold and then a power input plug uh, we're going to go with RF I believe these things can take both I'm going to go straight with RF not going to muck around with IC2, it's a pain in the arse. Um, and obviously the electric arc furnace as well, itself. So let me type all this stuff in and I'll be back in a sec and then we can go through all the recipes. Okay my friends, we are back. Now, I've loaded all of these uh, recipes into JEI. Um, if you want to do, um, someone asked me actually how you do this. So if you use, um, on a UK keyboard, um, it is above the backslash. Um, if you just separate them with a little line, that means that you can search multiple things at once. Um, I thought that um, that was in the, I don't know where I even learned that from. I thought that was in the instructions for day. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think I just read the book and it told me about it. Um, so there you go. Um, if you didn't know that, then congratulations, you just learned something today. So that's pretty good for you. Excellent. Okay, so let's look at some of these recipes for these. So power input plugs, um, they take these small batteries um, and they're just made from tin plates, redstone, and iron rods. So I think we can uh, teach our system. I'm going to teach my system how to make most of these things because I think these are used for a lot of the recipes. I was looking through it um, and they are. So we're going to teach our system how to make these, I think. Um, have I not got Redstonia crystals? I think I've got Redstonia crystal blocks. Yes, I have. So I need to teach my system how to turn that into Redstonia. Um, so let's do that first. Let's go... Um, uh, it's a normal crafting recipe like that. So that's that bit done. Um, and then let's grab those out of there because I'm going to need those for this part. So here we go. Like this. Um, let's teach you how to make those as well. So that's the batteries made. Um, so for this one I need four. Um, what was it? The power input plug. Um, I think it's the IC2 one that is the IC2 one and these ones are just the RF ones. Um, so that's like that. Okay. So input is that one, and then output is an input, and you just craft it again. Okay, so we just need to make two of these. Um, that's fine then. So let's uh, go into our interface terminal over here, and let's put these guys into the molecular assembler there and there, and then we should be able to make uh, four batteries. Four batteries. Can you make four batteries for me, please? Yes, four batteries. Nice. Um, we'll leave those in there, actually, because I'm going to teach you how to do this one as well. Um, we need to teach you how to make this machine structure, and these are chrome plates. Now, chrome plates, I wonder if... Um, can you get a block of chrome? You can get a block of chrome, right. So I'm just going to teach you how to make a block of chrome... Um, and then I'm going to teach my cutting machine how to cut that into chrome plates, I think. All right, so let's grab nine, um, nine chrome from there. Uh, and let's chuck that 
over here like this. That will give us one block of chrome. Um, then I need to actually, I need to. If I um, hmm, if I put that there, then I can whiz upstairs to my block cutting machine. Where are you? Over this way. Oh, I've moved some of this stuff about as well. That should give us nine. Oh, it took one, you bastard. It took one. Give me that plate back, son of a gun. There we go. Right, so now we can say, if we go back down to the factory, we can say over here now, uh, which one was it? It was this one. We can say that that gives me that in the block cutting machine. So block cutting machine, where are you? There you are. That's the pattern there. Um, right, okay, so we should now be good to go to uh, get into age 11, actually. Um, let's see about teaching it. Let me first craft one of these, and then that'll get us our trophy. Nice, 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 nice. Um, and then um, let me uh, teach the system how to do that. Let's go into here and let's do this. Nice. Um, and then let's grab another one. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go and teach you how to make this now as well. Excellent. Okay, so we've got uh, power input plugs crafted up. Now what we need to do is make one of those. Um, so let's dump those in the uh, molecular assembler there and there like that. And then let's say to the machine... Please can you make me a power input plug and make me two of those, please? Uh, missing a block of chrome. Did I, I thought I just taught you how to make a block of chrome. Are you taking the piss or what? Did I not teach this thing how to make a block of chrome? I swear I just did this. No, I must be going mad. I didn't do it. Right, okay. Now, can you make me two of these for the love of God? It's missing iron rods. Okay, let's um, grab some iron from in here. We've got a couple of iron rods. Yes, we do. So if we just take um, one iron and we can teach that to our metal press. Uh, let's go and let's create this one and let's go like this and that. Not like that, like that. That's good. Now, if we go run back over to here, then we should just be able to put that in there. And we should now be good to go, hopefully. Um, let's see if we can craft this uh, power input plug. Um, so let's say um, I want two of these guys, go, and we should hear some things sort of kicking up, yes, nice, it's a bit slow this machine, but anyway, um, let's whiz upstairs, oh, I'm stuck in the floor, let's go upstairs and we can put our new trophy down, and let me tell you this right now, if this is not, if this is a crappy block, right, um, because there's a massive opportunity here for this to be a rocket, isn't there? It's a space age trophy, and is it going to be a rocket, or is it going to be a crappy spinning block that looks identical to every other crappy spinning block? I mean, for God's sake, you know, farming age, farming age, what is it, this one? It just looks terrible. This one, that looks the bomb. That looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. Crap, crap. I think... I think the mod pack uh, developer lost interest uh, around this point here uh, because it all went down here actually after this one it all went down here um, I'm not I'm only joking I'm only joking do not have a fit um, because the amount of effort that's gone into this is is absolutely crazy um, so don't mind me I'm just teasing um, right let's see if these um, plugs are done shall we um, I thought yeah right we've got two of those now, if we want to make an output one, that should just be a case of coming in here and going like that and then giving it that. Nice. Okay, so now we can teach that to the molecular assembly as well. And then we can just turn one of these into the output plug. So we've got an input and an output. Good. Okay, two of the first blocks that we need. So the other thing that we needed was some blocks of gold. So we've got three of those there. That's fine. Now let's look at these input hatches, shall we? So we're going to need another some of these uh, machine structures. So we're going to need two more of those. 
Um, input hatch, output hatch. So one's a bucket, one's that. Okay. Um, I don't think I've taught this. I don't think I've taught this machine how to make buckets yet. Um, so let's teach it how to make buckets. I'm going to run out of space in here pretty damn quick, I think. Um, and it knows how to make chests and it knows how to make those, so it should have no problem making that one. Lovely. And then uh, it should have no problem making this one as well. So that's the input one. And then, no, we don't want to make another input one. We want to make an. Ah ha ha! Hang on a minute. Um, what is this? What is this? We want an output hatch. Output hatch? Cool. Okay. So, uh, bucket. Input hatch, output hatch. Let's chuck those in the uh, doodah over here. So that, that, and that. Uh, and then let's go and say hatch. Craft me one of those. Uh, craft me one of those. And craft me one of those. Go. Nice input hatch, output hatch, that's good. Now, the only thing that we need, I think, is... So we've got the input hatch, the output hatch, um, the blocks of gold. We haven't got the arc furnace yet, but we've got the input and the output plug. So the next order of business, then, is to make uh, the bricks, I think. So let me clear some of this out. Right, so just the bricks. So magma cream. Does it know how to make magma cream? Probably not. Let's teach it how to make magma cream. Um, and then let's teach it how to make bricks as well. And then let's teach it how to make clay into bricks as well in the uh, arc furnace. So let's grab um, let's grab some clay. So let's grab one clay and let's grab one brick. And then what we can do is we can... Um, I've got quite a few... I've built some more alloy smelters um, and that's... Uh, simply a reaction to the sheer hell that I went through waiting for all of those things to cook. So if I just do like three of these patterns, then I can put one in each up here. Um, let's go back down here. Now I think this one is uh, alloys only and then this one is alloys only. What's this one? Alloys only? Maybe I left these two in ones. So that's a furnace. And that's a furnace as well. So we can set these ones up like that. Um, and we can set this one up with it as well. That'll be fine. What's this doing? That's not got anything in it. Um, hmm. That's got not... Uh, yeah, let's, let's make this one into a furnace. Let's take that alloy recipe out of there. Let's put that one in there. So that'll cook those bricks a damn sight faster, won't it? Uh, like that. That's fine. So clear glass, rich sand. Does that have to be? Does that have to be in an alloy smelter? Um, I think that will be all right in there. Actually, that's fine. I was probably. I think I had that set up the wrong mode anyway. Um, so that's pretty good that I checked. Right. Okay. So bricks, um, and clay, and bricks and clay. Right. Now let's see about this, shall we? Let's make um, some bricks first. Yeah, I kind of used quite a lot of my bricks actually. Maybe that wasn't such a, a wise move. <laughs> yes. Let's order some more bricks via this method. There we go. Right, that shouldn't take long. There's four already. Five. Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, so we should now be able to uh, teach this guy how to make these now. There we go. Right. Nice. Let's put that in there. And then let's see how much stuff we're missing if we want to make 64 of those uh, heat proof bricks shall we so what do you say to a whole stack of those my friend do you say we've got the stuff um, we're missing some magma cream I thought I did that oh no I did do that cancel that cancel that thought let's um, let's put the magma cream recipe actually in there there we go look it's there um, and let's put the bricks in there as well there we go right now we should be good to go Heat proof bricks, 64. What do you say? Do you say good? Excellent. Okay. Right. We'll wait for those. 16 done. So the smelt was upstairs. We'll be cooking through those bricks, I imagine. Whilst that's doing that, uh, let's look at this guy as well, because we need to do these um, control circuit boards as well. So let's come back over to here um, and let's look at these. So these ones, 
Um, I think that should be okay. Um, we've got these automated, that's fine. Kind of glad that I did all that automation early on actually, because it's probably a bit of a good move. Um, not got any of those ones. Um, intricate circuit board. Let's craft one of those. There we go, good. So now we should be able to do this. There we go, there's the two main circuits done. Um, and then what's this user interface? Can we do that? Yes. And then nether bricks um, are a nether rack in a alloy smelter. You can do that. Or you can do it in a normal furnace. Nether rack. Let's dump all of those into there. Uh, and let's get some um, nether rack. I've got loads of nether brick actually. Yes, loads of never brick. I don't even need to do that. Um, that's fine. Right, so hopefully uh, we can make a couple of these now. Yes, nice. Uh, and then let's make a couple of these as well. Nice. That one might take a little bit longer. Um, but we've got one. That's. I think that's okay. Um, and then we should, I think, be good to go. Um, I didn't make... Did I actually make this guy? No, I didn't. I just automated it. That's fine. So electric arc furnace, perfect. Okay, so how are our bricks doing? Are our bricks done? Um, heat proof bricks. 62. Why have we only got 62? What's the hold up? Oh, it's because we just used two. Okay, no problem. I think uh, 62 should be fine actually um, because these occupy a space as well. Right, perfect. Good. So our projector seems to have uh, disappeared. Uh, but let's go back to where our electric arc furnace was and set that back. So if we say uh, one, two, actually it's like there, isn't it? And then one, two. So that'll be right next to the chest. Um, I might want a bit of space and that should be okay there. So a whole layer of heat proof bricks. So let's grab this first and let's put, let's put all of these things down where we can get them. And then um, we're going to want our power to probably be coming up and over the back. Um, so we can get down there, that's good. Actually, it's, little, it's one away from the wall. I don't want that one away from the wall. I want it right on the wall. So let's get rid of all this. And let's say one, two, there. That's it, isn't it? That's good. Is that good? And then if we shift up, yes, nice, right, okay, let's get this show on the road, um, so, like this, nice, and you can actually, the hologram's a bit interactive as well, so that's pretty good, isn't it, uh, one in there. And then next layer. So this is where the input and output hatches can go in. Um, so in terms of in terms of where our materials can come in from, um, if I put them on this side, then I've got some I've got some conduit running down the side here. So probably um, if we have our output there, and then our input there, and then brick there. That should be okay, shouldn't it? I like this. This is really good. This is a really good way of um, of doing multi blocks. And then the arc furnace goes in the middle. So the arc furnace goes there. Perfect. Then the next layer is just another layer of bricks. Ah, oh, I think. Yeah, I've done this wrong. Oh, I knew it was going too good. To, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew I was doing too well. Um, hopefully, maybe I can turn this back into an input plug. Yes, I can. Oh, thank God for that. I thought I was going to have to make another one. Right, input, input. I need to make one more input. Why is this over here now? Why is this? Get out of here. Good Lord. Um, right, uh, plug. One more plug. One more input plug, thank you. Wonderful. 
Uh, and then I need the rest of my heatproof bricks back that I threw back inside here in disgust because it had made too many. Um, what a fool I feel. What a fool I feel now for doing that. Um, so these need to go here. That one needs to go there. And then these guys need to go like that. And then there, there, there. There and there. Now, is that going to work or does it need more? I've just realised that the output hatch that I made was actually a fluid output hatch, um, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure I'll use it anyway. There we go. Right. So I've got. Uh, we'll get rid of that fluid input one. We'll put that back in there, um, and we'll teach our machine how to make uh, these as well. Um, we'll just make sure. Yeah. Look, fluid output hatch. What a numpty! What an absolute dingus! Um, so I was, uh, I was sort of scrabbling around trying to figure out why the multi block weren't working. And I was swearing quite a bit, um, and it was all my fault, and I feel like an absolute noob. There we go, okay. Um, but who cares, eh? Who cares? That's the way we discover how things work. Now, is this going to work? Yes, it is going to work. Fantastic. Right, now I just need to get some conduits, um, and I have some conduits um, somewhere. I think they're in my calculator, actually. Calculator? Um, right, so, hmm, uh, maybe these advanced ones should do the trick. Um, and I might even have some more advanced conduits. Do I have some more conduits in here? Yes, we do. Or I could craft some uh, some ender ones. Do you want to do that? Well, I think this thing. Don't know if it uses much power. We'll have to find out. Let's uh, let me wire this in, and I'll be back. Actually, what we could do instead of running power all over the place is uh, we could just get another one of those power cubes, couldn't we? So I've got my card. So let's grab maybe one of these power cells, uh, that might do the trick. I just need another, what was it, a machine frame. Let's uh, whiz back up to um, the uh, atomic reconstructor. Let's whiz back up to the replicator and get ourselves one of these. Right, where are you? It is this one, machine frame. Let's grab one of those. Let's grab two of those actually, because I'm probably going to need a couple. Um, it's amazingly cheap to do it that way. It's so good. Um, we've just got UU matter coming out the wazoo anyway, um, so it's not a problem to do that for us. Right, let's grab uh, two of these power cells because I'm going to need those for other things, I think. Now, if we go back up here and then we can maybe put this there like that and then we can out on all sides uh, and then we can link it with this guy then that should be getting power, and that means this should be getting power. Are you getting power? Yes, you are getting power. Right, okay, electric arc furnace online. Now, if we can put some sand in there, that would be even better. Where are you, sand? There you are. Let's bung um, in the uh, input hatch here. Let's put some sand. And then we need to switch it on. It should take a sand. Yes, it's taking a sand. Is it going to do something? It is going to do something, but it's doing it like really, really, really slow. I don't think I've ever seen a machine go that slow before. That's like when you play Clash of Clans or something and you're waiting for your village to update. Jesus Christ. This thing can't be that slow, surely. Is there a way to speed this up? Maybe if I had some more bricks? I'm not sure. Um, okay. Anyway, what was the next machine that we uh, that we need to make... Um, so, what about crystallizer? Now, let's see about this crystallizer, shall we? What's the crystallizer look like? Is it massive? Oh, it's not too bad. And what is it in terms of uh, in terms of ingredients? So, it's one crystallizer, copper coils, input hatches, quartz crucible, and output hatches. Okay, so we know how to make most of that stuff, don't we? Well, I'm going to make most of this stuff off cam, um, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back, and um, I've just noticed that this looks like a very um, surprised-looking furnace. <laughs> oh my god, how funny! Um, right, where should we put this guy? Um, <laughs> let's just put him here for the moment. Um, let's put him one block away from here, one block back. That should be okay. Let's put him closer to the wall, so we've got a bit more space. Let's put him uh, here. No. 
Let's put him here. No. Maybe it's the back block. There. That'll do, won't it? Right, now, um, what's this? Output hatch or input hatch? Um, so it's probably going to come out of here, actually. In fact, maybe I want the input to be on here and then the output to be on the other side. So then if I put the input here, and I can put the output there. Does that sound cool? And then the crystallizer itself goes there. And then the copper coil goes there. Then what's this? I need another copper coil. Do I not get enough copper coils? What's that down there? What is this? Let's move it down one. That is the power input plug. So that goes there. I need one more copper coil, so let's grab one more copper coil, shall we? Let's grab that from there. And let's grab another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. That should be just good to go with the last copper coil. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't seem to be able to read numbers properly today. Right, that's that bit done. And then it's just the uh, six quartz crucibles on the top. Multi block complete? No. What's wrong with it? Input hatch, output hatch. That there. Quartz on top? What's wrong with you? There we go, it's done. It didn't like the fact that I had the output and the input around the other way, um, which I thought was irrelevant, but there we go. Okay, now, I don't know what to do with this thing. Um, first of all, I know I need to get some power to it. That's uh, one of the first things that I need to do. So let's make a little bit of space around the back here. Um, let's go uh, and grab some of this stuff. And then maybe we can come up the back of uh, here. There we go, it's getting power, I think, at least. Getting power, good. Let's switch you on. Have we got anything coming out of here yet? Anything at all? We've got one silicon ingot. Um, now, what was it to do with this? Electric arc furnace gives you silicon ingot, and then you use it for what? In the crystallizer with a silicon nugget. And how do I make it? Oh, so I need two. Um, but I think um, I think I saw something actually. Um, if we go um, and get a storage drawer, one of these ones, um, and then we get some of our other silicon. I think the ore dictionary converts between the two. Um, I think someone told me about that, um, which will be pretty nifty as it is because this machine is slow as shit. Let's put that drawer there and let's put that one in there. And then let's put those in there. Yes! Free silicon. Nice. So now we can uh, take some of this stuff and we can turn one of it into nine nuggets and then we can put the rest in here. Um, so in the input hatch here. There we go. Oh, look at this. I like that. That's pretty good. Right, okay, excellent. So we're getting into some advanced rocketry, so pretty interesting stuff. Um, I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing with this mod because I've not really had much um, chance to muck about with it, but I'll do some more reading and I'll figure it out. And I'll come back for my next episode where I'll be an advanced rocketry expert. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please leave a like and a comment. It really does help. And I will see you guys next time.